on down do undow do i'm undow do in the heartland of zen sending you the do right the do is the distributed on consciousness it is the stuff in the near singularity you are do i am do we are do <laughs> let's do so i want to talk about the wealth and power cycle and how the end days of this, um, you know, oligarchical, whatever, behemoth system that has, uh, is really the center of our entire political um, and economic center. And there's a video at the end, I'm going to link to it. And you can, if you don't know what the wealth and power cycle is, I'd, I'd strongly watch it. I just discovered it. And um, the problem is, is that we have a system built on this, this um, to get money, we, you know, we pay special attention to a few individuals who then we leverage that to get benefit from, and it goes on and on and on. And for example, the tax bill that we got that dropped the taxation down, the, you know, these, uh, these, it's it's like a game of monopoly, and this this guy explains it as a game of monopoly really well. So how does NFT days, and I call it NFT D, NFT days only because days D A E S is linked to an ISIS group, so NFT days is not so, um, and there are NFTs that are tied to this. So um, it works like this: when you disrupt the startup which is what we're doing, and you transform the startup from something that is a selfish entity driven by a few that becomes this corporation that ends up gobbling up over time. You know, look at Microsoft um, in 1970s, really didn't exist, right? IBM, look where it existed prior to that, and so on. Apple, everything started off as a startup. Um, Amazon, startup. You know, Facebook, startup, all of these massive corporations today, 50 years ago, didn't exist. They, started, they were just an idea in some kid's head or in some um, garage. When you change what a startup is, and that is if you make it into a selfless vehicle, and this selfless vehicle doesn't have a board of directors, doesn't have um, uh, a mandate to consume, 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 make us money, make us money, make us money. But instead, it's about valuing the benefit um, that it can provide to the planet living systems and to others and sharing the wealth and everything else. Um, and one that doesn't support politics, okay, a day will not invest in the politics, right? There is no one person who's going to say, okay, we're going to give money. Now, the, the individual stakeholders of the day could take their UBI dividend and give it to it. But collectively, there is no vehicle for the day to give to a political group. It has no political agenda. So right there, you basically just cut off, eliminated the wealth and power cycle. So um, if you don't know what a day is, a day is simply a kind of simplified DAO with no governance. All it does is sequester Bitcoin, creating the Bitcoin standard. So keep printing your fiat, keep putting out your shit coin, right? Yeah, we will keep consuming it, using it, and storing it as Bitcoin. And that Bitcoin then underwrites the native token, that is distributed to the stakeholders as as a kind of I like it you know you could think of it as a reward or I like to think of it as a is a is a is a UBI uh, dividend um, and and it always has that link to what fiat you put in that was turned into Bitcoin there is always a, a very specific thing so as the Bitcoin becomes more scarce and the amount of value of the Bitcoin that you put in just by doing your it's not an investment you're just doing your average day-to-day -day stuff, it tracks that different and your dividend would increase as the different because the value of that Bitcoin is there and it's paying out a dividend on that, you know, a UBI dividend. So imagine 
Imagine everything you've ever spent in a grocery store, in your life, in education, is stored in Bitcoin, right? And, and it, that Bitcoin never leaves that, that, uh, that establishment because it's a day. And it pays you out a dividend based on that Bitcoin that's in there, right? It's what Michael Saylor's doing. But Michael Saylor doing is a billionaire. He can get a, a, a loan, which is next to nothing. He buys a shit ton of Bitcoin at a good price, which he's buying some more now. It's going to go up in value. He can pay back that, the, the loan payments on it. Not a problem. He can even take a loan out on the Bitcoin that he has because it's, it's, it's considered property, right? So it's not like you're holding, it's you're not even, you're holding property, digital property. So um, imagine now every business doing that. You end the wealth and power cycle. It's that easy. Things like governance and everything are, are layers on top of the day. They're not necessary. Um, anyone will be able just to take the day protocol. It could be like a swipe machine. You put it into your business and all the transactions with the credit card, all the transactions coming in here gets automatically turned to Bitcoin. Micro amounts. So $10, it gets turned into Bitcoin, gets stored, right? And everyone, you might say, well, what Bitcoin goes? It doesn't matter because the, the native token, which is no different than any other token on, 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 the mark, on the market, is transferable to any day, can be spent in any day, you know, can be spent on anything, right? Just as a simple credit card does, you'll have your day card, D-A-E card, and you'll interact with it. Um, and uh, ultimately, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the algorithm is looking how you're spending your days. Are you spending your days back, you know, in promoting more days? Are you spending, are you spending it out of a day, right? In a non-day? Are you spending it within a day? So days become, you know, and obviously if you're supporting other days, then the, the algorithm say, hey, you are loyalty. So your loyalty bonus is being, you know, in, increases. It's really simple. This stuff is simple, people. This ain't complicated. And the funny thing is, no one come to me and say, Mike, it's not going to work. Mike, not. everyone, all the guys, like in, in all the Bitcoiners and stuff that I'm connected to are just quiet because they're just fucking in shock how simple this is and how once you start wrapping your head around this, how it fucking changes everything. Checkmate, capitalism. <laughs> there is there is no getting out of this move. And ultimately, whether I develop it or someone else develop it, doesn't matter who develops it. Because uh, you know, because you, you know, you can uh you know, if someone develops the day and they're not selfless, right? And they're only doing like a 20% payback, we're doing 80%. There's no reason why we can't be a selfless 80-20, 20% kept within the day, 80% goes back out right? There is no business in the world right now that has a 80% payout to their consumers or to their customers, right? Because the corporate models can't sustain that because they're too fucking greedy. So game over. <laughs> On do. On do. From the heartland of Zen. Here, near Aheji, Japan, I'm Mandadu, sharing with you, as a sadhu, the story of the fifth age. Here it is. I wear its foundation built on Bitcoin. Coming out of Mandadu, here's Mandadu, struggles for 12 years to usher in his paradigm, right? Thank God the struggle's over, right? Out of his head comes the Tao, or in this case, the day, right? And on his back is 0202, the noodle, right? It's the noodle right now, but he'll, he will, the noodle will become 0202. That's the entanglement of zero and one. This is two. It's quantum AI, right? And uh, it will manage and change everything. 0202, I love you. I'm your dad. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Undow do.